A chase and then a cruiser crash in Hubbard. Tonight, two of the three people police say are responsible are facing charges, and a police officer is recovering. This all happened last night around 8.15. It started in Brookfield. It ended at I-80 and State Route 62. First News reporter Nadine Grimley was the only reporter in court to see the suspects. Hubbard police officer Eric Mallory, pictured here at his swearing-in ceremony in 2019, is out of the hospital and in good spirits. When I texted him this morning, he said he was pretty sore, but he, he's, he's a tough guy. He should recover fully. Mallory, a former Youngstown police officer and Army veteran, was hurt in a crash Monday night. Investigators say his cruiser was hit head-on by a car that was running from police. Looks like you're going to jump on 80. The chase started when Brookfield Police Chief Dan Faustino says the vehicle took off from a traffic stop. A Brookfield officer had pulled the car over for its tinted windows. It has real dark windows. You, they're so tinted you can't even see inside with the flashlight. Faustino says at one point the chase reached speeds up to 100 miles per hour. The officer lost sight of the vehicle in traffic but ended up spotting it again in the parking lot of Flying J where Faustino says it drove towards the officer, narrowly missed the cruiser, and shortly after crashed into another. A backseat passenger, now identified as Antoine Tarver, ran from the scene but was taken into custody near Dunkin' Donuts. Tarver's being held on $80,000 bond for complicity, resisting arrest, and marijuana possession charges. The driver, Charles Pickard, is being held without bond. He hit a Hubbard police cruiser head on and injured the officer pretty severely. He broke his nose and his kneecap. He's facing numerous traffic and criminal charges, including driving under suspension, reckless operation, and trafficking in drugs. Police say they seized more than $3,300 and 178 grams of marijuana. Not sure if that led to the decision to flee. In Hubbard, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.